The return to street dancing, carefree partying, exotic food, and women is exactly the recovery we need. The best time to visit the Caribbean is when the islands are hosting one of their world famous carnivals. I'm sure you're tired of being at home wearing masks and tired of travel restrictions due to COVID. Human connections have suffered the most. These street festivals are the epitome of freedom, togetherness, and shared good times. I'm not a psychiatrist, but after what we've been through over the last year or so, an over-the-top Caribbean carnival would most likely be therapeutic. Every year, those of us who missed these epic events envy the locals and participants who travel from all over the world to take part in these street celebrated festivals and carnivals. Carnivals were originally done in Europe as kind of a Catholic tradition. They've now evolved into each island's unique celebration for various reasons. Today, let's figure out why each island has their carnival, when these festivals usually take place, a list of the most popular Caribbean carnivals, which island carnivals are planned for 2021, and of course, where to stay if you want to visit one of these top carnivals in the world. Here are six Caribbean carnivals that you must visit before you die. Engage. This is Passport Games. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when picking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the notification bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. The Caribbean is a region of interlocking islands and territories bordering the Americas. Simply put, the Caribbeans are a rich mix of people from Africa, Europe, and the Americas. So richness in diversity is expected. Before I start this list, and even though I promise I'll try to do my best, I may get some pronunciations wrong, which seems to trigger some of my viewers. I understand that some people say Carnival instead of Carnival, but it would be hard for me to continuously say Carnival instead of Carnival. If a mispronunciation complaint is the only comment that you could put in the comment section, good for you. I suggest you go find a Britain, Portugal, or Spain-based YouTube page and complain to them. Their ancestors said words differently when they forcefully brought us all east. And I guess we picked it up when we learned the country's new language. Therefore, some people pronounce things differently. Okay, number six is St. Lucia. The people of St. Lucia host what can be considered five carnivals each year. Each one has different reasons to celebrate. Creole Heritage Month starts in October. The Food and Rum Festival is in September. The Roots and Soul Festival is in August. The Jazz Festival is usually in May, but the granddaddy of the mall is labeled the St. Lucia Carnival, which takes place in June. It then ends with a two-day parade in July. This party will be non-stop with some of the best tasting food and good looking women for your indulgence. I guess women could be mesmerized by the St. Lucia men too. The city of Castries is where you want to stay and there is a very popular Hilton hotel that will put you as close to the action as possible. It's adults only and all inclusive. Number five is the Dominican Republic. El Carnival de la Vega. <laughs> all right, El Carnival. <laughs> El Carnival de la Vega in the Dominican Republic is a celebration of folklore, history, and religion. Supposedly, it marked the day when good defeated evil. It's one of the top carnivals in the world. The beautiful women come dressed in African attire and Taino costumes. Well-known singers have concerts every Sunday until the first Sunday in March. The music you hear is merengue and bachata. You won't get as much of the usual calypso and soca that's played at most carnivals. It's celebrated in and around Santo Domingo. DR has other carnivals, but El Carnaval de la Vega is by far the most popular. We're already toward the end of February, so you're probably missing this one right now. The Hodelpa Garden Court Hotel is still available, and it's about $115 per night. Number four is Jamaica. The Jamaican carnival holds a spot amongst the most popular Caribbean carnivals. It is known as Bacchanal in Jamaica, and you can expect every facet of a typical carnival held in the Caribbean. Big celebrations are held in Kingston and Ocho Rios. You'll get to enjoy Jamaican dishes, soca music, and girls in costumes made of oil, paint, and glitter. The typical dates for this event is March to April. There are many big events in Jamaica. The Reggae Sum Fest is the largest festival in the Caribbean, which takes place every year mid-July and some fest is in Montego Bay. Then there's the Rebel Salute. It's an annual music festival held on January 15th, the birthday of the famous promoter, Tony Rebel. It focuses on roots and conscious music. Bacchanal was canceled in 2020, but has a date of April 11th in 2021. 
Fingers crossed. Great places to stay in Ocho Rios is Jewel, Paradise Cove, and Moon Palace, which are both all inclusive. Now watch to the end of this video so you can get my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. The Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival is a larger version of its original Junkanoo that celebrated the first Christmas in the Bahamas. It is now grown into a music festival in the spring. I understand that Bahamas is not exactly in the Caribbean, but it's close enough. Musicians compete for months to become the master and get the crown. The last month of the competition begins in April on the Grand Bahama Island and ends in Nassau during the first weekend of May. The festival takes place in the Culture Village which is an outdoor carnival where you can eat and watch live performances, which makes it a hot spot in this list of carnivals. International megastars will also perform. These can last all night long, but if you could get some rest, I would suggest staying in the courtyard by Marriott, Nassau, downtown Junkanoo Beach. Number two is Trinidad. The carnival in Trinidad kickstarted the Caribbean carnivals. This annual tradition has origins with slaves celebrating their emancipation, but the overt, as they call it, started even earlier than that. The Trinidad Carnival is hosted on two days before Ash Wednesday. The participants wear creative, colorful, and eye-catching costumes and masks that put the horns in horny. The excitement is non-stop. They'll also pretend that mud, oil, grease, and even chocolate is considered clothing for these few days in February. The locals and visitors to Trinidad will dance to music non-stop as they march down the street. The celebration usually brings about a billion dollars to the island. The king and queen are vetted through what is called damchi grass. This starts weeks before and ends with the actual parade. Chicks will come through from all over the world dressed with angel wings on their backs while seducing the devil out of everyone. Unfortunately, Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Keith Rowley had to cancel the 2021 Hanbule celebration, but in 2022 it's scheduled for February 28th. Now book a trip to the Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, or any of these other carnival locations. Just be sure to check if there are any travel restrictions that you will have to heed to. Passport Kings will make sure you get the lowest prices for your flight and hotel. Go to the updated www.passportkings.com and compare offers from over 4 million flight and hotel brands in one place. Now number one is Barbados, otherwise known as Barbados Cropover, but it's set to go on August 2nd, 2021 and will probably break all attendance records. From the name, you can tell that this is the celebration of the end of the crop season in Barbados. This festival is celebrated in similar fashion to all other Caribbean carnivals. Crop over goes on for about three months. If you plan on visiting, get ready for non-stop music, partying, an onslaught of Caribbean foods, art, and sexy masquerade dances. If you want to take part, be sure to visit between May and June right down to August. In the final weeks, they'll have huge food and craft markets and the Grand Condiment Parade. There is nothing like it on earth and you will thank me if you take my advice. Stay at the Hilton Barbados Resort in St. Michael's. It's all inclusive, right on the beach and close to the parade. Now, have you ever visited one of these Caribbean carnivals? Type yeah man in the comment section so I can read and respond to you. And my ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More is free. So go to my website and sign up to the mailing list so you can get your copy. I'm attaching a playlist of my visits to the Caribbean and the surrounding archipelagos to the end of this video. So you can plan your visit to the Canibales like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.